Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Before we get started with some of the generative AI tools in Google search, uh, I wanted to remind you all to use the website journalisttoolbox.ai. Uh, it's free, has all kinds of resources on it, everything from writing prompts uh, to guides and articles on AI, productivity tools, all kinds of different resources up here. Um, take advantage of them. It's free when you open these up. It's got uh, uh, links to all kinds of different uh, tools, some that are free, some are paid, some are uh, freemium accounts. I've got training videos on how to use these tools. Uh, you know, So take advantage of this website. Uh, on the right rail here, I've got training videos link. Uh, these uh, I've got more than 100 training videos up on the site. You're watching one of those videos right now. Uh, and uh, also, we have a newsletter that comes out every other Tuesday morning uh, on Substack. Um, it's free, although you can donate if you like. I uh, always appreciate that. Um, and it has all kinds of tips, tools, and tricks in it, uh, and uh, usually a training video is embedded in there somewhere as well. Uh, it's a very quick read. You can get through it in just a few minutes, and uh, uh, you know it's a nice little supplement uh, to uh, the updates uh, on the website. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started with the training. Um, uh, you should open up this Google Doc right here before we get started bit.ly bit.ly slash Google updates 24. So go ahead and take a second and open this up and then we'll restart the video. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is our uh, Google updates uh, in January, 2024. Um, I'm uh, recording this in late 2023. Google Gemini has just come out and starting to be incorporated into some of the Google products. Um, but I've touched on a few things here in a series of videos. This is uh, part two of uh, a three-part series uh, in uh, with the dip changes to the Google tools. Uh, in part one, I covered the changes to Google Fact Check Explore and gave you a little exercise there with this photo. Um, and uh, uh, then part three, which I'll get to in a little bit, uh, is Google Earth Tools down here, some of the updates to earth.google.com. But what I want to focus on today is at the bottom of page two. Uh, these uh, search uh, uh, updates uh, to Google Search came out uh, just a few days after I recorded the earlier video. So we're doing a second part here. Uh, it's under more Google Search AI updates. I'm going to show you Google image creation. Uh, you can now create uh, uh, images just like you would in Dolly or Midjourney right in Google uh, Search. Uh, and also, uh, you can use Google Search to generate code to not just look up a code library, but to actually generate uh, the code in there. I've given you a couple of starter prompts here too, one for an image, uh, and then a couple for uh, various uh, coding uh, exercises, and then you can kind of grow from there. In order to have these work, you have to go in and turn on Google Generative AI. Eventually, this is going to just be built into Google. Uh, but for now, you have to click on this little link here, labs.google.com slash search slash install. And when you do, you will get a little uh, interface like this. Uh, and you need to turn these on. So these are both purple. Um, so uh, and then you can test out an example or just go through the exercise we're going to do here. So once you have those turned on, uh, you can take this first prompt here for image creation, draw a picture of a dark blue BMW M340i X drive burning rubber on wet pavement. Uh, you know, it's a, 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 you know, just a fun creative thing uh, I came up with. So uh, you can drop it in here and hit return and nothing will really happen. Uh, you'll just get, you know, a couple of videos and, you know, your regular Google search down here and you know, nothing really interesting. You have to hit this little generate button up here to kick it over into generative AI. And once you do, you will get your images up here at the top. And these are rights free, so you can download them and use them as you wish. Um, and there's the uh, images of, of the car, you know, and then you can always tweak this, you know, uh, you know, make it darker blue and, you know, add to your prompt to get something a little more uh, specific. But, you know, this one on the uh, upper left here is pretty cool. Uh, you can click on it here. You can do some editing with it. You can export it, share it uh, directly into your uh, uh, things. I'm just going to download mine. It drops right into my downloads folder over here. Uh, and now I've got the image. You know, I can just move it right out to my desktop. Um, so, you know, uh, that's very simple uh, to do. And once you're in that generative AI mode, uh, you know, as I demoed in the first video, you know, with uh, search tools, 
uh, you know, uh, you get a much different experience here, much like you would get in mid-journey with the four images. Um, so uh, again, you know, take advantage of this. If you need an image very, very quickly, uh, you can, uh, you, know, you know, generate it here. Uh, if you look at the homepage of journalstoolbox.ai, a lot of these vector graphics, in fact, everything up, up here at the top, uh, are generated uh, using uh, uh, using Midjourney. Uh, I've used uh, Adobe Firefly. Um, uh, I used uh, Google for this one on the left uh, to create this one. Uh, so a lot of the images, uh, you know, the little uh, icons on my homepage uh, are generated uh, using artificial intelligence, which I explain, of course, to uh, in my about page about the toolbox. I explain that in there that I do use uh, generative AI for images and things like that. Uh, it can also be used for uh, uh, generating uh, code as well. Um, if you need to uh, generate some some basic code, uh, you can go in and this one's just a, a simple one. This is the first line of code I ever learned to write uh, back in the old days and the 90s when I had to learn to do code. And it's a basic table. It's a, a HTML code for a four column by 10 row table. Uh, so four by 10 table. You could you know, import data into it or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go back to Google uh, and... Uh, I can open up generative AI down here too. It actually gives you some starter prompts down here. You know, so I can do the periodic table and things like that. Um, uh, and uh, generates uh, the AI uh, search down here, more answer driven. Uh, but I want it to generate some code. So I'm in generative AI here and I'll have it generate the code. And it's actually doing it over here on the side. I have this little uh, uh, chat GPT uh, installed here and it actually uh, uh, dropped it in there and there, there's my code here in Google and I can just uh, copy this um, that's my that's my code and, and I can export it um, you know I can change how it looks it gives me some prompts to change how it looks or I can copy it right here or just you know highlight it copy it if you prefer but I can copy here and then move it over into uh, you know whatever uh, HTML document I want to drop it into um, so that's all I had for now just a little reminder uh, journalisttoolbox.ai. Take advantage of this free website. Uh, all kinds of resources up here for you. Uh, this prompt writing section is really, really good. It teaches you how to write prompts uh, uh, in various uh, tools, uh, whether it's ChatGPT, uh, Midjourney, whatever. So take advantage of this website. We'll see you on the next training video.